Draymond Green punching teammate Jordan Poole last year is still making headlines to this day. Before the 2022-2023 season started and the Warriors were set to begin their title defense, a video of Green punching Jordan Poole during the practice was leaked and the team started the year on its back foot. After the incident, Draymond Green went from apologizing to Jordan Poole to making a docu series about the whole situation and now he's on a podcast basically saying Jordan Poole deserved the punch. Just what the video. I don't just hit people. Dialogue, of course, happens over time. And you, you usually ain't just triggered by something like that fast, you know, right. to that degree. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a team. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody on my team triggering me, you know, in, a, in an instant. You know, we know stuff that you don't say amongst men. You know what I'm saying? We, we you know, we know. You know, things that you have to stand on. This bozo didn't specifically cite the reason he punched Poe, but according to the video, it appears the friction between the two were building up over time. After the season ended, Draymond Green admitted that his choice not to speak his mind to the team and lead in the same way after the incident helped cause the Warriors to slip behind and fail to become a championship caliber team. Jordan Poole's dad, Anthony Poole, reacted to the video saying, I'm a stand on this. That is some bullshit. JP was his guy and he avoided me all last year. He's a soft ass bitch and I'm standing on this and he didn't apologize to me and my wife's. So he lame. Me and him can meet anytime he want. Talk your shit. Another person also tweeted, Y'all watched Dre get into an altercation with KD, now Poe, and somehow the takeaway is that Draymond Green is innocent and has done nothing wrong. Y'all are in serious people and you are enablers clearly. He's always a common denominator like B for real. Another person tweeted, Lord, I'm not even a big, oh my god, the punch person. I dislike Draymond for a multitude of other reasons, one of which is him not knowing when to shut his dumb ass up. He doesn't even talk about a game in any meaningful or insightful way, to be honest. He just effing talks. Somebody also tweeted, I understand Draymond Green's value to the Warriors dynasty, but a man has to be one of the most annoying players in the league right now. The NBA is a business, not a schoolyard. You conduct yourself professionally and lead by example. You don't escalate the situation off of emotion. Another person also tweeted, Y'all really see how Draymond acting and think Jordan gonna score over 30 points against the Warriors. Shaking my head. I said this before and I'll say it again. Cause this latest shit confirmed what I've been saying. Draymond Green is gonna get ejected whenever they play the Wizards. Another person also tweeted, I guess I'll wait to hear the whole thing in context. But this doesn't seem like being the leader Draymond talks about being or getting back to. You don't have to talk about everything exactly. Another person also tweeted, I got respect for Draymond Green even after the Sabonis stomp, but this is the same man that screamed at KD mid-game leave, we don't need you. LOL, JP must really strike a nerve. Another person also tweeted, you don't hit a teammate, period. Crazy how Draymond Green is legitimately playing the victim. You are not fooling anyone, you are legitimately an awful human being. Another person also tweeted, for everyone trying to paint Jordan Poole as immature, he sure has been handling this situation a lot better than Draymond Green. And this is 100% facts. Another person also tweeted, I believe Draymond Green loves the attention. That's why he keeps talking about the event. He don't have the ability to just maneuver out of it like JP been doing. To be honest, bro just love to hear himself talk, for real.